Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 1 Blind. So, <clears throat> when we last left off, uh, we were having some trouble killing these Death Claws, but, as you can see, I did them off screen and I killed both of them. So both of them are dead, and let's continue on to the Gunrunners. Oh boy. Huh. That doesn't look safe. That looks like a veritable pile of goo and death. Uh, I need to speak to your boss. It's very important. Really? Wait. I, I'm just allowed to go in? Awesome! <laughs> Everyone else is like, have maybe kill people, made me pay something, maybe do this or that, and then these guys are just like, Hey, by the way, you can come in if you want. Dude, that's awesome. And here's the funny thing. This is probably the best defense you can possibly have now that I look at it. A giant oozing moat of radioactive goo. Not only is it dangerous, though, well, I suppose the dangers do outweigh some of the other... The defensive properties are nice. <laughs> okay, well, let me just talk to the main leader. Nice day, isn't it? Uh, I guess you're not Zack. Must be the guy with the sledgehammer. No? Maybe the tiny dude? Why is it the midget? Ugh. Not that I have anything against midgets, I'm just saying. Shouldn't the gun runners be owned by somebody who's a little more burly? Um. Okay, let's see what he's got. Um, rockets? Explosive rock- wait, what? What's the difference between a rocket and an explosive rocket? Does one just blow up more than the other? And if that's the case, then why would you... Ooh, a plasma rifle. And that's a mini gun. And that is a plasma pistol. I'm looking for the fat boys. Or is that was something only for Fallout 3 in Vegas? Um, or the fat men. Fat, whatever. You get the idea. Um... I can get rid of some things. I don't really think I have that much to get rid of, though. Okay, maybe I do have some things I can get rid of. A lot of some things. Holy shit. That's a lot more than I thought I had. Good lord. Well. I don't know. Do I need any weapons? I mean, I definitely want all these bottle caps, that's for sure. Alright. Um, he doesn't have anything better than the combat armor I'm already wearing. Uh, combat shotgun. How much does a combat shotgun cost? Three grand? Okay. Uh, assault rifle. That's worth seven grand. Er, no, the assault rifle's not worth much. Um, plasma pistol, Gatling minigun. Um, what did I sell my shotgun shells? Yeah, I definitely want to keep those for now. Um. Okay, so I need to take back some of this stuff. Let's take back this. And. Shit, hold on. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Alright, that looks good. No, wait, no. Okay, that looks even better. I just want to see how much the combat shotgun does. Alright, let me check it out. Inventory. The only reason why I'm checking out the combat shotgun is because I want to see if it does more damage than the pistol I'm currently holding. Um, let's see, so that does 15 to 25. 
And this one does 20 to 30. This one carries a maximum capacity of 5 rounds. Okay. Alright, well, um... I'll hold on to uh, the shotgun for right now. And maybe I'll keep this one too. I just have a feeling that, um... It'd be nice to have a shotgun, I suppose. Cannot get there. Alright. Um... No? Um, okay, this is not what I wanted. Hold on a second there, buddy. I need to, I need to think about this. So I thought I was supposed to go to the Gunrunners and talk to them about, um, the blades. Huh. <sighs> Why don't you get many visitors? This place isn't very accessible uh, with that nest of damn death claws right outside the factory. You guys seem very well on. Why don't you exterminate them? We've gone over there and taken out a few, but they always come back. Besides, with uh, we're machinists, not fighters. What would you give me if I went in there and took care of them for you? If you could get rid of the death claws once and for all, um, you could name your price. I want weapons and ammunition. I could. I have some friends who could really use some of your weapons. You clear the death claws, all of them, and you get yourself a deal. Sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so let us go and kill these death claws then. Um, oh, I should probably heal, actually. Let's do that right now. Rest, not caress in this location. Huh. Alright. Okay, I actually don't know where the death claws are, so. Let's just start walking around. So, this game is actually very uh, pretty. For some reason, I like the art style. I guess it's because I'm a fan of um, Diablo 2. And even though Diablo 2, I believe, came out after this game, the graphics look somewhat similar. And for some reason, uh, it reminds me a lot about Diablo 2. So, it's just kind of nice. And that sort of looks like a penis. And the cock and balls. Interesting. Um, let's see here. Is there any... Uh, where? Okay, so they told me that there's a Deathclaw nest nearby, but... I'm not sure where. And I'm a little confused why they haven't said anything about the radioactive pool kind of just looming around their base. I understand it's like a defensive wall or a moat. It just seems a little bit ridiculous. Like, even for uh, the gun runners. Not that the gun runners are all that ridiculous now that I think about it, but. Oh, here we go. There we go. I think that's where the death claws are. But before we do that, rests until healed. My god, how many days does it take to heal me? I guess it's that many days. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a quick little save. And we're gonna go ahead and head down to the Deathclaw Nest. Okay, so. I see a Deathclaw. And he, she looks very pissed. So, hopefully we don't die. Actually, this probably would have been a good... Whatever. Never mind. Okay, let me see if I can get within range. Okay. In the eyes. Boom! Shaka laka laka. Ow. Ow. Really? You're gonna keep hitting me? Alright. Three. In the face. In the face. Nice. I love it when it pushes them back. That's, that's for some reason really fun to me. 
Ooh, this death cause hit me for some good damage, though. That's not good. Alright, let's try and get a big hit on it. Yeah! I like it. Just watch them scoot back for some reason. Kind of turns me on. There's something erotic about the idea of smashing a death claw in the face with a giant hammer. My god, look how far back it slides. That's cool. 57 damage, because you're a noob. Okay, I'm not as big of a noob as I thought. I thought I didn't equip a uh, super stim pack. And the face, in the eyes. How did I miss? I'm probably gonna die. So, I don't know if I'm right about this or not, but I've noticed that, um, I just died. 42 points of damage?! Ah! God, it's like someone just kicked me in the nuts! Jesus. Alright, well, like I was saying, I've noticed that, um... You know what? Fuck using this damn mallet. Why am I even using a damn mallet? Rocket launcher, baby. Oh, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Right, um... I noticed that if you face towards the enemy when they're attacking you, uh, it actually doesn't do as much damage. At least I think. Oh, clearly that hit the thing, right? Alright, you know what? I don't even care. We're just gonna keep reloading till it hits. Because using a rocket launcher and a death claw? Now that just sounds fun. Was there a rocket launcher in the. Uh Fallout 3 in Vegas? I don't think there was. There was a grenade launcher. No, okay. No, there was a missile launcher. It wasn't called a rocket launcher. How in the fuck is that missing? And my voice is incredibly high. <coughs> yeah, I, I tend to hit puberty um, whenever I get upset. My voice tends to drop. And I didn't even equip the damn rocket launcher. Uh, I'm hoping the thing doesn't get too close. Maybe? Oh god, this might hurt if it hits me. What were you aiming at? Are you kidding? You just shot that thing from a- Oh, who even- What were you aiming for? I mean, come on. I know I haven't put anything into big weapons or explosives, but- Dude, you were aiming at the wall? What were you trying to hit? The freaking flies? Or something? I I'm just a little confused there, buddy. What were you trying to do? Jesus Christ. Alright, Deathclaw, come here. Oh, shit. He's just a little bit too far away. God damn it. Okay, good. It was only 11 points of damage. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, that's fun to do. That is fun to do. Alright, come on. Alright, let's hit him back in the face. There you go, good job. And we're just gonna run back a little bit. And hit him in the face. And hit him in the face. Wow, missed twice. Buddy, don't fail me, come on now. Come on, buddy. Oh boy, he's failing me. Let me try and do a big hit on him. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. 48 points of damage, and that's not bad at all. Ah, shit, I might have just died there. No, no, okay, we're good. Um, let me go ahead and give myself a little bit of a stim pack injection. And, okay, so let me see. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to our mallet. And we will walk right over here. 11 points of damage. Come on, dude, really? You're gonna double hit me like that? Really? Oh, boy. And I died. Great. 
I mean, I know death claws are supposed to be tough and all, but I literally just killed two death claws off screen simultaneously. I, I mean, I'm not even like I cheated or anything. I really didn't. I don't even know how you would cheat on this game. But I mean, look, look, look at that. You see that dead body right there? I killed two death claws. So unless this is like, oh, oh, I see. This is the mother death claw. Oh, so this one is like uber compared to the other ones. Is that what they're trying to get at? Is that what they're trying to tell me? This is like the Uber Death Claw in comparison to the other ones. <sighs> Come on. I mean, uh, I just want one hit with the a rocket launcher. Is that so much to ask for? Just one hit. I'm not asking for a miracle, I'm asking for just one hit with the rocket launcher. That's all I'm asking for. Come on, can you do that for me? Come on, I believe in you, you can do it. Come on, I believe in you. Unbelievable, dude, you are the worst person ever. Alright, enough of that. Okay, so, we're running into a little bit of trouble here. Because I don't know if I can actually kill this one. Because this one is not just a normal death claw. It actually is a mother death claw. And even though I'm like rape sauce when it comes to other such animals and such, and sitch, um, this one looks a little bit tougher than I, well, than I would have thought it would be, I guess. I mean, I can keep plowing into it like that over and over, but. I really don't know if that's going to help. Jesus Christ. Alright, him in the eyes. I'm hoping that these hits are going to be doing... Oh my god, look at that. Still sliding. That's kind of funny. Oh, 87 points of damage. Yeah. Get a massive erection from that one, I'll tell you that. Uh... Shit, I really want to heal myself right now, but I I don't think I have the possibility of doing so. And I can't really switch weapons either. <sighs> the only thing I can really do is just wait. Shit. Should have gotten a little bit closer. Alright, let's just see what happens if I run back. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright. Nine. Oh, come on! Don't miss! Missing is not the good thing to do. If you miss, then I get murdered. Okay, please hit him in the eyes. There you go. See, that wasn't too hard. You did six damage. Uh, sometimes I question your sanity. Oh, This thing almost just killed me. I'm surprised I just survived. Come on, we just did 87 points of damage. I believe in you. You can do it. Ah, oh, don't get knocked down. Don't get knocked down twice. Come on, dude. Please kill him. Okay, good, 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 good. So you got a nice hidden. And look at that. He's doing the little slidey slide. Yeah, that's good. I like that. The slidey sl oh my god, he's sliding back farther than I thought he would. Alright, so the slidey slide basically means that I can actually take a step back. What? No! He's never done that before! Why did you get up and move? Uh... Uh, okay. In the eyes, quick! Okay, good job. Good job, alright. Uh-oh. Not a good job. Oh, please don't knock me down again. Hit him in the eyes. Yes! Not yes, I only hit him for one damage. What are you doing? Don't fall down, don't fall down. Oh. Come on, I believe in you. You can do it. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe I did it. Jesus, some 1,500 experience. You bet your ass I'm about to save. 
All right, let's take a look at our new stuff. All right, so our current health now is 82. Beautiful. Um, let's, I don't know, let's crank up something. Um, hmm. Um, I guess we can jack up the healing to 100%. And lockpicking is fine. Traps, I don't really care about. Now we can just turn our speech. Oh, let's, let's do barter, why not? Alright. Done. Alrighty then. So, the death claw is now dead. And now we are going to go murder its children. Because we're just that nice. Come on. Alright, there we go. And a one, and a two, and a smash your goo. And by goo, I mean your children's. <laughs> really? The egg is sliding backwards? I mean... <laughs> uh, I find that funny. Yay, the death claws are all dead. And I got 20 experience, yay! Alright, so all the death claws are dead. They're dead, Bobby. They're dead. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that either. So, this is, I mean, this is kind of cool. Now that we actually have some decent gear, we can actually do quests. And now that we don't have to worry about a time constraint, we don't have to stress about doing them, like, rapidly, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just, it's it's awesome. I love it. We don't have to stress. We can take our time. We can have a few laughs, a few beers, a few drinks, and it's just so easy and so fun, you know? Okay, um, you what? You've killed them all? Thank the gods. Now we can move uh, to where we can get our own materials and not have to rely on those snakes and out of them. Uh, you name it and you've got it, my friend. I have some friends who really can use some of your weapons. You've got it. Let your friends know that they've got their uh, their weapons. Sweet! Thousand experience. Um, you can go fuck yourself. I hate midgets. Well, I'll rephrase that. I don't hate midgets, but I don't like midgets in this game. I don't know why they bother me. Just the concept of a midget, I suppose. Probably should heal myself. I think that might be a good idea. Pit boy, rest until not healed because of next to radiation. Awesome. I keep licking my lip right now. I've got like this cut on my lip, and I, I keep licking at it because, well, you know, you do that when you, you have a cut on your lip or your mouth or something. Like you just keep like tonguing it, and I swear to God, it's like swelling up right now. Like, I just keep licking it, and I just, I'm starting to taste, like, a little bit of blood, but it's, it's kind of not that bad yet, and every time I try to touch it with my finger, it kind of gets, like, sensitive, and it hurts, so it's just a typical cut on my lip. I don't know. Interesting, I guess. Oh, God, why does it have to take so long? Why can't they just, like, fast forward and be like, oh, so, yeah, um, you waited this amount of days, and now you're healed. Why do I literally have to watch as time slowly flows by? Whatever. Do 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 do. Oh, how much do we need to level up, actually? Uh, for our next level, we need ten thousand experience. It looks like. All right. Okie dokie. So now that we have the guns, let us go and talk to that blade leader lady again and take down Adium. Where'd those short women go? What? What the hell is he talking about? Alright. Come on. Talk to her. Uh, thanks for all your help. We're gonna go invade Adium. We could use someone like you on our side. Sure, I'd like to take the, <laughs> the regulators down. Although, uh, No, because if I talk to Zimmerman... Then he kind of goes ape shit and dies anyway, so let's just go and take him down.
Oh, we got a whole group of guys, and they're all in recruit armor for the Brotherhood. I'm pretty sure these gun runners are kind of fucked. In the eyes. Nope, can't reach him. Alright. Where's my three? There's my three. Okay, in the face. There you go. Oh god, I should probably get out of their firing range, because I already... I've had bad experiences with that in the past. Nice job, though. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad that I gave them weapons. This is going to make it like ridiculously easy to kill these guys. Yeah, Zimmerman can burn in hell for all I care. His stupid food show pisses me off. Why are you going to shoot people, huh? How many of them are there, by the way? I feel like there's a lot more than there should be. Can I have my turn, by the way? Okay, so they just killed Zimmerman, it looks like. Um, like, I've literally been waiting at least a good 12 turns. Oh my god, dude! Why would you aim at your own guy with a machine gun like that? Can I have my turn yet? Any time would be perfect. Oh my god, there's this many turns I'm looking for? Jesus Christ. Well... I guess it's okay. Yeah, see, there's another one dead. Ugh. I hope Zimmerman doesn't die, I'd actually like to keep him alive. Nice job. Damn! <laughs> That's what I like to call. Oh, hold on. I guess he doesn't have a leg to stand on. Lol! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's right, you take him down with your fists. Alright, so I've got literally no long-range weapons on me right now. <sighs> this is annoying. I think at this point I'm pretty much just going to be kind of standing here watching them kill everything. Which is fine with me. I mean, hey, that means I have to do less work. I just kind of wish that the action combat sequences would go by a little bit faster. So, let me get this straight. They're aiming for the guy with a mallet that's literally more than his turn away from you. And you're not aiming for the six or so people behind the fence with uh, long-range plasma weapons. Feeling like you're kind of, like, noobing it up right now. Is it my turn yet? Thank you. Okay, let me just see if I can get anything closer. Okay, that guy's dead. I was wondering when they were going to start moving up. I was just watching them like, are they ever going to start moving up? Looks like we've killed about six of them so far. Who's got a shotgun down there? Alright, so... Oh, of course, I leave myself wide open to attack from either side. 
And another one's dead, another one's dead, and another one's dead to bust. I was trying to go with a song, but uh, whatever. Hmm. Using two stim packs, three? And you're still able to move? I mean, god damn. You got quite a few AP points, don't you, buddy? I can fix that. With that sledgehammer to the face. I wonder how many more of these regulators there are. Oh well, and I didn't mean to do that. You guys know what I meant to do. I didn't mean to do that. Come on! There's four of you and one of him, and you're all getting decent shots off. There you go. See, that wasn't hard. Alright, so it looks like about seven of the regulators are dead now. Can't be too many more of them left, right? One of them's got a shotgun down there, though. Unless, of course, that's just like a high powerful rifle. Gangland Punk? Kinda like that show, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess I can use a stim pack of myself. You never know. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying, I guess, because it's like, I can't do anything because I'm not a long-range weapon user. So I'm kind of just sitting here waiting. I'm kind of just waiting for them to come to me, really. And in most cases, I don't even get a chance to do anything because my <laughs> allies just finish them off. Which is awesome. And somebody just got, like, turned into sushi, it sounds like. Alright, can I go over here? Nice. Good hits. Oh, I've never seen a death animation! That was so cool! <laughs> Just watching them get liquefied, that's not even ha- oh my god. The Fallout animation for uh, plasma rifle deaths or laser deaths in Vegas in Fallout 3 was just, they'd turn into dust. But that, just getting liquefied into a pile of nothing. Oh, that just like warms my heart like you'd never know. 1300 experience and then an extra 2k for finishing the quest. Badass. And of course, like all of my quests uh, have ended, or all confrontations with people in this game, I get to loot the dead bodies, or at least what's left of them. Seriously, there's like open holes in everyone's chests right now. Let's just say that their funerals are going to be closed caskets. That's for damn sure. My god, I just got quite the little haul, didn't I? Oh, what? I'm over encumbered already? But I haven't even begun to, like, take shit in. Oh, no! Um... Shit. <laughs> okay, well, okay, let, let's start by getting rid of the stuff that's not gonna be worth as much. Oh, man, that is probably what's... That's probably what's causing all of it. Um... Shoot. Because there isn't really too much I can get rid of. Shoot. Alright, well, let's talk to this lady anyway. Thank you for helping us with the regulators. Uh, pre please feel free to stay as long as you want. You might want to check in with Miles and Smitty. Might be able to help you with your further travels. Maybe she has something to barter. Hello. Yeah, hi. Hmm. Yeah, can you help fill me a little? Oh, fill me in, I see. Okay, never mind. You actually don't have anything. Never mind. Never mind. Um, talk. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that one doctor's dead or not.
Thank you for our freedom. Ah, you're welcome. It was no problem at all, actually. It's kind of fun, actually, you know? Setting these people free by murdering people. Murder is good, kids. Don't forget that. Huh. God, there's just so much shit here. I want to sell it all. Uh, I'd like to buy something. Ooh, cool. I can sell it to him. How? Please tell me you have a lot of money. You're poor as shit. <sighs> Great. Oh boy. Alright, well, maybe we can pull off like, uh, yeah. Maybe we can find some bottle caps off these bodies at least, right? Oh wow, that's a lot more than bottle caps. Shit, okay, I really need to get rid of some crap. Okay, I know this key card is for a quest to do something in the glow, but I don't think I'm going to be going to the glow ever again. I'm just assuming this. So I'm just going to say bye bye And we're going to say goodbye to our ropes too, because I have a feeling I'm not going to use those. Lockpicks are okay, we can hold on to those. Um, you can hold on to the electric lockpicks. Fourteen millimeter AP ammo. We can get rid of those. Ammo is pretty much worthless. That's that's as much as I've discovered anyway. And the only reason why I want this ammo is because I'm actually using a shotgun. All right, and let's see. What does he have? <laughs> That's just a regular sledgehammer, though, so it's not as good. God. Uh, what kills me is that I don't know if these bodies are going to disappear or not if I go and sell all of my shit. You know? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a save here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the hub... And we're going to go and buy some more of those books. And when we come, we're going to come back. Uh, oops, wrong place. And we're going to come back. And when we come back, um, we're going to see if the items are still there. Because the hub isn't that far away. So I know that I can get there relatively quickly. Unless, of course, I come into a battle. Almost immediately. And it's rats. Not even worth fighting. Not even worth fighting. In fact, they're more annoying than anything because they have like 80 different turns because there's so many of them. Can you hear that? Do you hear that clicking sound? Do you hear my mouse? Yeah, 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 you hear that. You hear the clicking noise. My APM is going nuts right now. APM. <laughs> uh, StarCraft, I love you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, dude. This isn't cool. Alright, more clicking. More clicking. I don't have time for you guys right now. I really don't have time for you guys. You guys are completely useless. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on! I don't have time for you guys. Let's go. Yeah, that's great. Just shoot each other. Come on. I don't even care. Oh my god. Come on. Come on! Finally! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! One more step! There! Okay, let me get to the damn hub this time. Alright. And we wanna go downtown. And we're gonna go straight to the bookstore. Well, I guess it's a library, but eh, whatever. Close enough. Lady. Barter. And we're going to put up all of our shit that we're going to sell, which is a lot. A lot of shit. A lot, a lot of shit. No, no, that. Definitely both of those. It's actually not as much shit as I thought it would be. Let's just get rid of this rocket launcher. It's fucking useless to me. Um... 
I'm gonna get rid of like 30 of these because I don't think I'm gonna ever use them. Or fuck it, let's make it 40. I'm just gonna be using super stim packs from now on. Uh, I thought there'd be a hell of a lot more. What the hell is like taking up so much space? Crying out loud. Alright, what do you have to offer? You know, besides the books. I'm just curious to see if she has any money. $500, it's not really worth it. Alright, let's take the outdoorsmen's. Okay, and then we'll take... Well, let's just take her money, why not? Oh, yes. And then we'll just say that's good enough. It's about a thousand off, but whatever. And now we're going to go back to the um, Atium, or whatever the town was, at Atium. Um, and basically we're just going to see if all that shit is still there. Hopefully it is. Because if not, then I'm going to be a sad panda. A very sad panda. Essentially, I just want those books because I know they're going to increase my stats without having me to uh, level up and all that. I mean, it doesn't necessarily increase the stats that I necessarily want. At least not all the time, but at least I don't have to increase it if I'm curious about something uh, when I do level up. So I can actually focus on, you know, certain things that I want to level up. Oh goody, there's like 80 places. I want to go here. Are the bodies still there? No, but the items are, and that's what I care about. Shotgun. Nuka-Cola. Uh, blood. Fence. Okay, more metal armor. That's good. What's this? Blood. Metal armor. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, and there's some more metal armor and a sledgehammer. Wow, that metal armor costs so much money. And there's still like five of them to pick up. Okay, well, sorry guys, this is probably going to be a lot of back and forth and back and forth selling. And normally I would just cut away, but um, I have this odd feeling in the back of my head that if I cut away, I'm probably going to end up ending the episode anyway. So I at least want to stay with you guys a little bit longer and, you know, it's not all that interesting watching me go back and forth here, but hey, at least we're doing something, right? Uh, maybe I can talk about what I'm going to do in the future. Um, I guess now that we've actually done the hub, or the Adium, no, wait, hold on. Now that we've actually done the uh, the water chip quest, and now that we're sort of starting to get um, stronger, um, now that we're starting to get kind of stronger, I guess you could say, um, God, those, those metal armor just really are not worth that much at all. It's actually kind of pathetic. Alright, those are guns and bullets. I know she's got more books. Um, okay, let's take... How much are these per book? They are 1800 per book? Jeez, what a ripoff. Um... Damn, they're really expensive. Oh well, I've got plenty of uh, other things to sell in that one place. In fact, you know what? Although, no, it does take time to... Yeah, alright, fine. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Like I said, sorry this is so boring, but... What can I really do about it? I think I'm only going to make one more trip. Because I feel like this is... um. I don't know, it feels kind of pointless to me. Just to keep going back and forth, back and forth, only to get, like, you know, a little bit of extra stuff. So this is going to be the last trip back and forth. Anyway, like I said before, um, now that I've actually done the um, water chip quest, and that we're kind of free to do as we please, um, I... Uh, let me guess, I'm completely... Oh no, I'm not unequipped, cool. Awesome. 
Um, now that we've uh, completed the water chip quest, and now that we're sort of free to do as we please, um, the idea is that now we can pretty much, you know, complete quests if we want to. We can look for items. We can hunt, uh, you know, like farm for experience and shit like that. But I think what I'm probably gonna do. I think I might have said this last episode, I'm just sort of, you know, repeating myself, because redundancy is uh, what causes memories to become stuck in your head. But, um, what I think I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I'm probably going to level grind a little bit off screen, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, got something stuck in my throat. Um, I'm probably going to level a grind off screen, and then I might just go straight into uh, the mutant's Super Mutants home place. Knife, not important. What, what do you got here? Okay. So I just want to look to see what other items are available to pick up. Is it just the three metal armors that are actually worth picking up? Uh huh. Kind of looks that way. I mean, okay, that's fine, I guess, but I don't know. Metal armors really aren't worth all that much. That's the only problem. Alright, let's get this last one and get out of here. Wait, what's that? Stim pack? Hello. Oh, am I like over encumbered? Is that what's going on? Plastic explosives. Alright, you know what? That's good enough. We don't need to pick up everything, because like I said, uh, it would probably be worth, like, maybe another 5000 and that's going to buy me, like, maybe two, three more books, if that. So, I think, um, after I do this, I'm going to probably end the video, and then I will do some off-screening, and, um, I will probably come back after that. But we're not going to end the video just yet. We're going to finish killing some people and go buy some books, and then I'll end the video. So we have a little more time together, guys. A little bit more time. A little time for killing. For reminiscing. Maybe even a little sexing. Okay, maybe not sexing, but you know what I mean. Seriously, dude. I'm just absolutely loving my character right now. You, it's a love-hate relationship between me and him. You know, we hated each other for a while. And now we love each other. Mostly because he's putting holes in people with the sledgehammer, but, you know, we have our other moments, too. It's not just all about blood and gore and fun. Although it mostly is about blood and gore and fun. Dude, could you even imagine if somebody came up to you with a sledgehammer and literally punched a hole through your chest with it? Like, can you even imagine that? Like, just your chest, hole right in the middle of it. And just nothing you can do about it. Just absolute domination over you. That, my friends, is amazing. Alright, barter. Like I said, I can probably buy, like, maybe... Two more science books with this. And we'll get rid of that, and then we'll get rid of that. Uh, um... Let's see. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of the gun. And we're also going to sell all that ammo, which isn't, like, worth not that much. At least in comparison to how much uh, ammo I had for it. I'll keep the radiation stuff, keep all that, and... I don't know, let's get some gun books, why not? We'll get four. Okay, might be able to get one more. Yep. Alright, cool. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. And I'm going to do a little bit of off-screening. And then when we come back, um, I'll have decided what the next step is going to be. And I'll give you guys the basic overview of what I did off-screen. You know how the, the, you know, the usual rigmarole goes. So I'll catch you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. And hey, you know what? Have a good day.